Hello, this is Tori Belandio. We have a new 35-acre property in Southern Colorado with electricity and mountain views near the San Isabel National Forest. We're going to jump straight into the interactive map. This is the parcel highlighted in green. Again, it's 35 acres. There's road access along the entire southern boundary. There's a driveway right here that takes you to this old mobile home that's on the property, along with a couple other structures. There's also electricity lines and poles and a septic system. Now, if we zoom out a little bit here, you can see just how close you are to the Pave State Highway 69. This is Highway 69 right here, just north of the property. Here's a little town of Gardner. You can see all of this yellow shaded area. This is all BLM land, thousands of acres of BLM land surrounding the property. And then all of this green shaded area, this is the San Isabel National Forest. There's over a million acres of public land here within the San Isabel National Forest that's just north of the property on Greenhorn Mountain. When our photographer was out at the property the other day, he captured a couple large bucks nearby. You can see one right here and one right here. The property is located in game management unit number 85, which is desirable for elk and mule deer, along with wild turkey. This area of Southern Colorado has one of the largest elk herds in the entire world. We've sold more than 100 properties in this area of Southern Colorado, and people all throughout the United States have purchased these properties. Many of those customers live in Colorado, but an even greater amount live outside of Colorado, and many people that have purchased properties here have done so because of the recreational and hunting opportunities that it offers. We've had multiple out-of-state customers purchase properties in this area because of the ease of obtaining elk tags, along with the massive elk population that exists. Many customers have also purchased property that have no interest in hunting. Some of those customers have immediate plans for their properties, while the others, those plans might be a decade or more off, while others are just looking for a store of value. And to give you an idea where the property is located, this is a 35 acre parcel right here. There's the town of Gardner that's just north of the property, population around 350 people. And there's the paved Interstate 69. If you take Highway 69 to the east, you're going to intersect with Interstate 25. Interstate 25 runs north and south along the front range. Interstate 25 will take you south to Trinidad, then into the state of New Mexico. Interstate 25 will take you north to Pueblo, then Colorado Springs on up into Denver, and then we'll even take you up to Wyoming. Along Interstate 25 east of the property, you have the town of Walsenburg. Walsenburg is the county seat of Horfano County where the property is located. Walsenburg has a population around 3,200. In Walsenburg, there's a hospital, lumber and building supplies. There are multiple grocery stores, restaurants, shops, professional services. There's also a K-12 through public school. About an hour and 15 minutes north of the property, you have the city of Pueblo. Pueblo has a population around 110,000. Many of the big box retailers are located in Pueblo. Pretty much anything you need you can find there. Colorado Springs is about an hour and 50 minutes north of the property. Population around half a million. Then Denver, Colorado is just under three hours from the property. Population over a million. Largest city in Colorado. There's also an international airport in Denver. Now that we've established the location and some of the things that are around the property, well, let's look at the property in detail itself. Here's the 35 acre parcel highlighted in green. And around this location on the property, you have multiple old structures. In this image here, you can see some of those old structures. There are the electricity lines and poles. You can see this pole has a transformer on it. Many people in this area use satellite for telephone, internet, and cable. There's a propane tank. There's also a septic system on the property. This is a view from the property looking north. There you can see the electricity lines and poles. Here's a different angle of those old structures on the property. We deem these structures to have no value. You can see on the mobile home, part of the roof is missing. There's an old truck on the property. We have no idea what condition that's in, but that's included as well. Over the years, we've had properties with old structures on them, some in worse condition than this. We've had properties with little makeshift cabins, RVs, school buses. And what we found is that people had a plan to do something with those structures. Because the structures are there, we're sharing the information with you. Aside from those structures, just looking at the land itself, it's a really beautiful parcel. It has really easy access. This is the Pave State Highway 69, just west of Gardner, and this is County Road 560. You take County Road 560 south, that splits, you stay on County Road 540, and then you make this V right here, and this road then takes you directly to the property. Here you can see some of those county roads to the property, and then there is the road actually to the property. This is looking to the northeast from the road to the property. This is Greenhorn Mountain in the San Isabel National Forest. You can see just how close that is to the property. This is what you'll see from the ground with your naked eye. The mountains are really that close. Due to the wildfires out west in California, Washington, and Oregon, there's a lot of haze. Without that haze, this view would be breathtaking. And it's a beautiful view even with the haze. Just imagine this view 
without the haze and instead big blue skies and white puffy clouds. This is looking to the west you have Sheep Mountain and Little Sheep Mountain. And then looking to the southwest you have Little Sheep Mountain, Sheep Mountain, Rough Mountain, Mount Mestis, Silver Mountain. To give you an idea what the views look like without the haze, I'm going to show you a few images from a property that we sold just down the road right around here. This was sold a couple years ago. This is Greenhorn Mountain in the San Isabel National Forest on a clear day. And the new property that's available is actually closer to Greenhorn Mountain. This is Sheep Mountain and Little Sheep Mountain on a clear day. Over here you have Sheep Mountain, Mount Mestis, Rough Mountain, and Silver Mountain. And this is looking to the northwest at the Sangre de Cristo mountain range, which is also visible from the property. These are Google Earth terrain views. This is south of the property looking north. There's the road that runs along the southern boundary of the property. Now we're southeast of the property looking northwest. There is the Sangre de Cristo mountain range that we just showed you a photo of. Now we're east of the property looking west. There's a continuation of the Sangre de Cristo mountain range. In this image you can see there's some roll to the terrain. There's path of seasonal water flow along the northern portion of the property. There's some clusters of trees along the east. Now we're northeast of the property looking southwest. There's Little Sheep Mountain, Sheep Mountain. Again you can see that roll to the terrain. There's the seasonal water flow. Now we're north of the property looking south. There's Rough Mountain, Mount Mesta, Silver Mountain. To correlate that with the photos that we recently showed you. There's Sheep Mountain, Rough Mountain, Mount Mestis, Silver Mountain. Now we're northwest of the property looking southeast. This is west of the property looking east. There's the Bedito Cone. This is at the southern portion of Greenhorn Mountain, just north of State Highway 69. And now we're southwest looking to the northeast. And there's Greenhorn Mountain and the San Isabel National Forest. Referencing back to the images from the nearby property on a clear day, this is Greenhorn Mountain in the San Isabel National Forest. On a clear day, this is very similar to the type of view that you'll have from the property of Greenhorn Mountain and the San Isabel National Forest. This image here, we have nearby developed properties that are represented by these white circles. You can see that many of the nearby landowners have developed their properties to varying degrees. Here are some photos of those nearby developed properties. Some people have a main home, accessory buildings. You can see a wide variety of construction types. There are no covenants or restrictions. Here's somebody with a small cabin. There's not an HOA. There are no HOA fees. The minimum dwelling size per the county is only 600 square feet. And you can use all kinds of alternative building styles. You can do an earthship home, a shipping container, an arch cabin, mobile or manufactured home, geodesic dome. I've seen people that have yurts out here. That offers you a lot of freedom and flexibility. Or maybe you just want to use the property recreationally. You go to our website, Landio.com, and navigate to the property listing page where you'll find all the details. There's a bunch of information here about the property and the surrounding area. The property taxes are only $73.16 a year for the entire 35-acre parcel. Again, there's no assessments or other fees, just the annual property taxes of only $73.16 a year. There's lots of detailed information within the property description. We have the nearby points of interest and links where you can find more information about those locations. We have GPS coordinates and links where you can open those on a Google map. Right here is a link where you can open up the interactive map on a full screen. Click this link, it'll open in a new tab and you can zoom in and out on that interactive map we showed you. There are over 150 images of the property in the surrounding area. The images of the property were taken in the last couple weeks. All of these images have captions. Many of them have labels. If the property is of interest, we highly recommend you take the time to look through all these images. They'll answer many questions that you may have and even some you had not thought of. And at the bottom of the page, we also have the interactive map that you can view within the listing details itself. You can also click this link right here and that will open up the interactive map in a new tab in full screen. At Land Deal, we work extremely hard to make it super easy for you to purchase land. To purchase this property, all you need to do is go to our website, landio.com, navigate to the property details page. Once you're there, you're going to see a green buy now button. If that buy now button is green and it says buy now, that means the property is available as of that moment. We only have one of each property available. Even though we've sold over 100 properties in this area of Southern Colorado, each property is unique. We've sold properties that are right next to each other. But again, each one is unique. And that's the beauty of land is that each one is unique and they're not making any more of it. 
it is a finite resource. And in line with making it super easy for you to purchase land, we sell our properties on a first come first serve basis. There are often multiple people interested in purchasing each of our properties. However, we only have one of each property available. And rather than get into a situation where people are trying to outbid one another, which is not a very pleasant experience for the buyer. I've been in that experience myself and purchasing a home and it's very frustrating. We keep it super simple. If you want to purchase the property, just click the buy now button and that will add a deposit of $499 to your cart. Then just click checkout. Once you click checkout, this window appears where you then enter all your contact information, click continue to payment, enter your payment information, and then complete the checkout process. As soon as that checkout process has been completed, this buy now button automatically changes to out of stock. Again, only one person can place a deposit on a property. Your $499 deposit is credited towards your purchase and we cover all of the closing costs. There are no other commissions or fees, so your total purchase price for this property is just the $59.9. And that $4.99 deposit is credited towards that purchase price, leaving just $59.401 remaining balance due at closing. The remaining balance may be paid by wire transfer, cashier's check, ACH bank draft, credit card, debit card, or any combination of these methods. We make the whole process super simple and it can be completed in as little as a day. Now, if you're looking at this property and it says out of stock where the buy now button is and that buy now button is gray says out of stock and where the price is it says under contract that means that someone else has placed a deposit on the property already now if it says under contract that means that they have not yet completed the purchase although they have already placed a deposit during that under contract period you do have the ability to place a backup deposit which would put you next in line if the current buyer were unable to complete the purchase for some reason if you'd like to place a backup deposit on a property please contact us directly for the steps on how to do so that backup deposit secures your place in line if the current buyer does not complete the purchase then your backup deposit will automatically move you to the new buyer of the property and will be credited towards your purchase if the current buyer does complete the purchase then your backup deposit will automatically be refunded to you 100 percent if you have any questions, our phone number is on the top of every page of our website. That number is 866-8LANDIO. That's 866-852-6346. That number also receives text messages. We have a live chat feature here on our website where you can communicate with us in real time. If we're not available for whatever reason, please send us a message or respond to your next availability. You can also fill out this contact form here on our website or send us an email directly. Our email address is hello at landio.com. We sincerely appreciate you taking the time to visit our website and watch our property videos and ask that you please support us by sharing our website, our properties, and our videos with everyone that you know. We're working diligently to bring you new amazing properties at incredible prices all throughout the United States. The more people that we reach, the more dreams of land ownership we can make come true. And it would be an honor to add you to the Landio family of happy customers. Please help us bring more amazing properties to market by giving this video a thumbs up, leaving a positive comment, and be sure you subscribe to our channel and have your notifications turned on to ensure you're notified of new videos as soon as they come available. Thank you and may God continue to bless you and your family in all areas of your life. Landio. Land is opportunity. Please click in the upper left hand corner and subscribe to our YouTube channel. In the upper right hand corner we have all of our available properties in a playlist. In the lower right hand corner we have a playlist of our Land is Opportunity series. And in the lower left hand corner we have our Landio Unscripted series. 